Hello and welcome. Silray is here with Cyberpunk 2077. So, 1.5 patch happened something like two weeks, three weeks ago from when I start recording this. And those of you who have been around here on this channel or watching my play for a while, remember that I actually played this game. I made a let's play of it um, when the game came out, just a little bit after. And back then, I did not get anywhere close to finishing Cyberpunk 2077 because my let's play ended with corrupted save files. <laughs> Which was really annoying. I lost something like 15 hours or 10 hours or something like that of playtime. And I simply did not feel like replaying all of that. Just to continue the let's play. However, there have been a bunch of changes. And hopefully also a bunch of uh, fixes to not have any of that corrupted save file issues. So, I am going to play Cyberpunk 2077 again. Now... Uh, something I want to point out before I uh, make a character here, and this is this is just the intro video. I'm just going to make the character and all of that here in this one. Um, however, I want to want to show that I, I have turned off a lot of things, right? Overhead damage numbers, hit indicators. So I don't I don't see the uh, extra indicator when I actually hit a target. So I don't know if I hit the target or not. And I have also turned off a lot of stuff on the minimap. Uh, on the minimap, uh, the HUD, as in turn off minimap, health bar, uh, boss health bars, uh, action buttons, and 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 all of the, the other stuff. But I did leave on was the ammo counter. Um, the, I could just as easily turn this off, but I decided to leave it on. Um, crosshair and target markers and NPC names, so I at least have those. Right. Um, also, just a little bit of a, a quick mention here as well, in the sense that um, along the way, uh, on these patches, along the way for, for patching this game, they have allowed us to keybind uh, a few more things. And in the process, they also changed some of the default keybinds of stuff, uh, or reset them anyway. So. Prior to starting this recording of this Let's Play, I played for about an hour with an old character. I just ran around and made sure all the keybinds uh, are, you know, working. Because, um, well, if you have been here a while, you know for a fact that I changed all the keys. Because for me personally, um, default keybinds in most games are not usable. I cannot use them. So I rebind all the keys. And again, still... Um, at this point, even though they have allowed us to rebind a few more things, I still had to go into the configuration files of the game and manually change some keys there, which was really annoying again, because if you make rebindable keys in your game, please make all the keys rebindable. Why is that so difficult? Anyway, let's start. Well, enough rambling, let's start. And... This is the intro video. I'm just making the character here. Um, gameplay begins from the next one. So, very hard difficulty, just like last time. Very hard difficulty. And um, I want to go Corpo. I played through all three of these when this game was released, and my honest opinion is that they should have axed both of these. Like, put big red axe here uh, over both of these damn things and just left Nomad. Because um, from the dialogue... Uh, your character asks us a bunch of questions because you as a player don't necessarily know anything of the world, obviously. So you have to, um, there have to be uh, conversation options to talk to people to get you extra information if you are interested in it as a player, right? As the person behind the screen. However, if you are a street kid, there is a lot of conversations in this game. Like, if you had grown on the streets of Night City, you would know all of that stuff. You would not need to be asking of any of it. So having those conversation options there makes no sense from immersion point of view. So that would ax out this one. And this opening is just purely bad. It makes no bloody sense. It's a really badly executed opening compared to either of these two. So, I mean, if you... 
if you want to just axe one, just put the core ball into the uh, into the garbage bin and keep these two. However, this one also makes no sense as opposed to Nomad who uh, comes to the Night City as a sort of an outsider and then it would make sense for you to ask extra information because you wouldn't know. You are not grown on the sea on the on the streets of Night City. Anyway, let's uh let's go core ball. Why am I rambling about this stuff? Um, I will I will tell you exactly why. This is the intro video after all, so I have, I I don't need to play the character here yet or anything of the sort. And I'm going to be play play female um uh, because that's a personal preference. Anyway, um, for me, cyberpunk uh, as a universe and uh, as a, as a franchise and all of that uh, as a as a as a game also a very very dear place in my heart has held for close to 30 years now because cyberpunk 2020 for me was the first pen and paper rpg first tabletop rpg uh, that i started playing role-playing games with i was like nine or ten years old i start I, I played things like cyberpunk 2020 and twilight 2000 for years and years before i even but you know, touch the uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and I I know Dungeons and Dragons tends to be the um, introduction to RPGs for a lot of people, um, pen and paper tabletop RPGs. However, for me, it was Cyberpunk, and I love Cyberpunk as a universe, um, and I was you know, I I, I love love the game uh, as a universe, and I love what they did with the various games, um, the the. Um, Tabletop games, the pen and paper RPG, Cyberpunk 2020, uh, 203X is is a little bit weird, and then of course there is Cyberpunk Red, which this one is essentially based on. Now, I will I will ramble eventually when I get to things uh, about some of the uh, some of the big problems I have with the way they have uh, implemented Cyberpunk Red into this video game adaptation of it, because um, there are some stuff which. To me personally they just got really really wrong but overall overall i still think they did a good job overall uh with the with the world itself so anyway 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 let's make this character enough rambling right so um okay right yes obviously these two keys are different than what i have to actually press to rotate the kind of oh, that whatever I think we're keeping the skin tone. Um, I don't think we want lighter. Yep, let's keep that skin tone. And I really like this hairstyle, actually. I really like that hairstyle. It looks both cyberpunk and corporation. I mean, it is fancy enough that, hey, I did something with my hair before all of these meetings. But it also, you know, screams cyberpunk to me. So um, we're, we're probably doing that. Um... 27 is where we start. Let's go through the hairstyles. Okay, so this is basically just a copy without these. I, I like those, especially in this damn metal chrome color. That's really nice. Um, that's more modern current era, so is that. Uh, when I play fa Cyberpunk, I want my hairstyle to be something completely crazy and fitting to the Cyberpunk universe. Like this. This sort of stuff. Um... Or that, uh, because, I mean, you know, oh, that's a fancier version of the previous one. This is more of a like, uh, this screams a little bit more corporation or, or you know, fancy in the sense that, hey, I actually spent some time doing my hair, but I still have this, <laughs> have this very trimmed back. Um, I still think I prefer the previous one. Oh, that's very Japanese. That's kind of nice, actually. Oh, obviously there is bald option. Fantastic. Always have bald option. Um, isn't that the hairstyle Judy uses? Or at least it's close to that one. Um, but yeah, to to remember uh, to to go through my thoughts again, and this is also really nice looking, very cyberpunk style, very sleek as well. So this could fit for a corporation. Um, now here is cyberpunk hairstyle, like short, short uh, sort of sleek and very buzz cut uh, sides. Uh, thing is, in Cyberpunk universe, you would like you you want to run uh, like like screaming blue or pink or what uh, not hair. Uh, you you want to do weird hairstyles and so on because because the fashion wear uh, all the uh, you know technical hair and 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 so on, which can be just <laughs> implanted on your 
on, on your um, scalp and all of, on other parts of body as well, if you're interested in that. Um, that's so easy and simply available everywhere. There is no reason to have like natural hair colors. There is no reason to have very natural hair styles, anything of that. So I want personally, personally, I want something that really screams cyberpunk. Okay, not that. That's not cyberpunk. That's somebody who's just woken up and has forgotten to go to their hairdresser uh, for the day. All right, that there, there is a mohawk. Now, if I was some kind of a ganger. For sure, uh, this is this is something I would go for. This and in some something some crazy pink. Yeah, do, is there a crazy pink here? No, nope, that's not pink. All right, something like that. That would be amazing. That, ooh, oh man. Yeah, that something like that would be would be exactly yeah. If I if this was a um you know pen and paper cyberpunk and I was playing in a, a ganger. All right, fine. Um, okay, hello. Well, I guess that's a, a cyberpunk enough, but not for this play. Okay, that's fancy. Oh man, uh, there is there is serious cyberpunk. Okay, uh, if this was not here, I would go with this hairstyle instantly, because uh, I always have this problem of uh, with hairstyles in especially in games which cover your eye because this is something people don't really do in real world or would do uh, for one this obscures your vision right in in the real world and for another uh, it, when you are having having a conversation with another person um, eye contact is is something that everybody looks for as a as a social measure so you would be uh, sweeping that hair out of your eye um, out from in front of your eye anyway so uh, I, I dislike this kind of hairstyles. Like, of course, if you like this uh, something like this in a video game, that's to you. But uh, personal personal preference, right? Character creation, after all. Um, and that's why we should have options, because I am sure somebody there out there really likes that sort of thing. Oh man, that's really cool looking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna go with that. It was 27, right? Yes, we're gonna go with that. And I'm gonna keep this blue color. Because this blue color looks really nice with this lipstick. It's fantastic. Um, and I am definitely holding on to these eyes. I don't want to change anything of those. We're even, we are getting cybernetic eyes anyway at some point, And these really look the part. Damn. Um, eyebrows are fine. I don't really need to change any of this stuff. Cyberware is something we do need. Uh, facial scores are not happening because this is cyberpunk universe. You would uh, you would get those those fixed with uh, with a little bit of fashion wear if you wanted um, to to you know get rid of your scores. Okay, not that. Um, um, that looks a little crooked with the like. It's just being. Uh, graphic wise it's just been plunked on top of the uh, eyebrows it looks a little silly so we're not doing that okay that looks nice oh okay i think this is it and i'm gonna keep this um uh this eye makeup for sure because this is very ostentatious this is very showy like very corporate uh, of like hey i did my eyes a little over the top and these actually match the color fairly nicely. I like that. We're, we're doing that. So no facial uh, scores. We are skipping facial tattoos because I don't want facial tattoos on a, on a corporate face. Let's just scroll through. Is there anything like like stuff like this? Like yeah, again, if I was a ganger, um, if I if, if I ran around as a um, not necessarily a mox, but you know anything from uh, Tiger Claws to Maelstrom to whatever uh, stuff like this would would be fantastic like it would really scream the part or <laughs> barcode in the forehead um like, like stuff like that um but but as a as a corporation uh person i think i was skipping facial tattoos yeah born to kill definitely not um piercing color needs to change to something metallic to match like silvery to match these now what do we do? Like this is a lot of piercings. Maybe we go uh, tone down the amount of piercings a little bit because we have the facial um, cybernetics as well. Okay, that's a that's maybe a little uh, uh, too few. Okay, I think that's it. 
Just one earring and a, and, a, and a stud on the eyebrow. You know, I think that's it. Yeah, we're definitely holding on the eye makeup. That looks really, really, really nice. Um, lip makeup. Oh, nice. Just glossy black lips to match the uh, match the hair. That looks really nice. We're going to hold on to that. Um, long nails. Yes, please. And can we find something to match the makeup? Yeah, those are just, just being brown. Yeah, that, that's ugly. Yeah, that's a little closer. Mm. Okay, that's almost the eye makeup. All right, we're we're holding on to those. That's almost the eye makeup. No, that's a, uh, that's too flat. We don't want flat. This is cyberpunk. Oh, oh, that's nice. No. Yeah, we don't want flat. That's kind of close to the eye makeup, so we are not hold those. Now, body tattoos are something we definitely do. Because the kind of body tattoos that you can cover with clothing, so that nobody, uh, like, like when you put on your business suit and walk into the office, I think that's it. Nobody, nobody can tell that you are all tattooed up, and I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. And we are definitely not running any scars because you can remove those. Now, I also gave a little thought to the attributes because I want this to be very different from what I did the first time around. First time around, I went, uh, uh, I just went really high body and basically nothing else because I, I ran, I think I ran Buzzock and shotguns. I was having a lot of fun with that though. Uh, however, I want to do some hacking. I have, haven't really done much hacking in this game, so I want to do some hacking, and I want to do some tech. Uh, I want to I try out the crafting a little bit, and so on. So we're going to pump intelligence. Um, I don't think I want to pump it too much right at this point. Maybe, maybe all the way to 7. Oh, you can't get to 7. All right. So... And we want reflexes because I might go uh, automatic rifles or submachine guns or handguns. And all, those, all three of those are in reflexes. Uh, tech for sure, a couple points. Because I, I want to try the crafting a little bit. And after that, we have only one point. I think we can put this in the body. Because I definitely need some body anyway to actually be able to survive stuff. So I have a feeling we, we're, we're going to pump... Uh, um, Pump all four of these up to... Like, maybe the tech doesn't have to go very high. Uh, was it like 7 or 9? Maybe 10? Maybe it was 11. Uh, I think it, no, it, I think it was 7 or 9 where you can craft uh, blue items. Um, so basically I don't need the tech to go much farther than that. Um, reflexes, uh, once I decide on the gun actually. For sure it is not going to be any, uh, any weapon from out of body. Because last time I did shotguns. So it's probably a handgun or an assault rifle, something like that. Um, intelligence for hacking. And I do need body for, for to actually just survive. So there we have it. There we have it. Um, and that would be the intro video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you folks next time where the actual gameplay begins.